This is going to be a routine. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, MJ Tesla Live Video Reaction Edition. This is going to be my second time doing a video reaction to Pitch Meeting. This is a pitch meeting for the movie Toy Story. So let's get into it. So you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I know this is going to be the first ever feature length computer animated movie, so I made sure to keep the human characters to a minimum. Well, that's very nice of you, but honestly, it'd be even better if there were no humans at all. We are not good at rendering those right now. Well, the movie's about what toys do when humans leave, so there kind of have to be a couple of humans, you know? Okay, but just so you know, their faces are, you know, absolutely gonna be the stuff of nightmares. Just haunting stuff. Understood, sir. So you said the movie's about toys? Yeah, so the whole thing's gonna be that toys are actually alive, and they have, like, secret lives going on when humans leave the room. Oh! And when humans come back into the room, they all rush back to their places and go stiff again. I have just so many questions. Uh-oh. Like, what happens if somebody peeks through the window and sees the toys running around. I don't know. At what point of the toy making process do they become sentient? I don't know. If a toy's head breaks, does it die? And if a new replacement head is put on, is that an entirely new being? Oh, please stop asking me questions. I'm sorry, it's just you drop a bombshell like toys come alive when you leave the room and I have a couple of questions. Yeah, well the whole thing falls apart if you think about it a little bit, so... You know, please don't do that. Fair enough, so what happens in the movie? Well, there's this kid Andy, and his favorite thing to play with is this little Woody. Oh. See, Woody is the name of a cowboy toy, and he's actually the main character of the movie. Oh, okay. And he's kind of the leader of Andy's toys, so they all look up to him. There's even a female toy, Bo Peep, who's like into him romantically. Toys can be romantically involved with each other? We're certainly gonna suggest that, yeah. I don't know much about the internet just yet, but I feel like people are gonna take that information and do some pretty weird stuff with it. Oh, I'm gonna make sure to get my dial-up modem set up and check that out. Okay, you weirdo. So anyway, Andy's family is moving in like a week, so all the toys are getting ready for moving day. Okay. But then they realize that it's Andy's birthday party, so they all get scared that they're gonna get replaced by a cool new toy. Oh, interesting. And for the most part, they seem to be safe because all of Andy's friends are horrible at giving gifts. What do you mean? Well, they get him like bed sheets and a lunchbox. Okay, yeah, those are some pretty boring birthday gifts for a child. But then Andy's gonna get this new toy called Buzz Lightyear. Oh, what's his deal? Well, what's really fun about him is that he doesn't know he's a toy. He thinks he's an actual space ranger. Oh, that's funny. I thought so too. He thinks he's on a mission or something. Hilarious. And so Andy gets obsessed with Buzz and he replaces Woody as the favorite toy. And what's Andy's reaction to seeing Buzz moving around and talking? What, what are you talking about? Well, you said that the toys hide the fact that they're alive when a human enters the room, but if Buzz doesn't think he's a toy, he wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Did you not realize that? No, I didn't realize that. Now this whole thing doesn't make sense. Ah, oh, damn it. Whoa, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Buzz not thinking he's a toy is a major part of the movie, but then I have him freeze whenever humans show up. It doesn't make any sense. Look, it's fine. Maybe people won't notice. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh my god, no, it's fine. We'll move on. Okay, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. So what else happens? Well, like I said, now Andy is obsessed with Buzz Lightyear, so his mom completely redecorates his room. We're talking Buzz Lightyear blankets and posters. Aren't they moving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they put that poster up for like a day? <laughs> I guess so. Interesting choice. So then because Woody's jealous, he decides to knock Buzz behind a dresser. Okay. But then he accidentally knocks him out a window. Oh no. So all the other toys call Woody a murderer and they want to hang him to death. Oh my god. Yeah, they don't even give him time to explain. Immediate death sentence. That is so dark. Super dark. And then through some wacky circumstances, Buzz and Woody both end up in a claw machine at a pizza place. Oh, that does sound wacky. But then they end up getting taken home by Andy's neighbor, Sid. And what's Sid's deal? Oh, well, he's super evil. He makes toys explode and he, like, crafts different parts of toys onto other toys. Pretty creative, actually. Yeah, super evil. Just a kid using his imagination. Anyway, so at Sid's house, Buzz is gonna see a TV commercial for himself and realize he's a toy. Oh, so what does he do? Well, he goes into this deep existential depression. Oh, existentialism is tight. Why are we even here? I don't know. Fair enough. Let me know if you figure it out. So then Sid decides he wants to use this huge rock rocket thing on Buzz and all the toys have to stop him. Wow, it's gonna be impossible for them to stop a human. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, Woody just breaks all the rules and starts talking to him, and then Sid's other toys start crawling towards him. That is horrifying. Yeah. That kid's gonna have some serious psychological damage. Well, serves him right for what he did to those toys. I mean, he didn't know they were alive. He was just having fun, and now they probably ruined his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toys are ruthless. They are. So then Woody and Buzz race down the street to try to catch up with the moving truck. They
they race down a public street? Won't people see them? Most probably, but we're not gonna deal with that because I don't wanna. Well, okay then. So what do you think? Well, as the first computer animated feature, I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, we're basically paving the way for a whole new kind of animated feature. Yeah, and if this is how CG animated features are kicking off, I can't wait to see the kind of stuff they make in the future. Oh, things are gonna get good. <laughs> Uh, for those I don't know, what's funny about that, about the Emoji movie officially announced, is the movie was horrible. <laughs> I mean, I never saw the movie, don't get me wrong, but it did not do well at the box office. So that's why it's, it's funny. <laughs> oh my God. Again, he points out the obvious flaws in the movie Toy Story. Love the movie, I really do. Especially the Toy Story 4, I think it is, the last one that I saw from the Toy Story franchise. I thought with the one with the, um, what was it? He's like made out of plastic spoons and forks and whatever. That movie was funny. I thought it was just as good as the original. I really enjoyed that one. But uh, I love this, uh, this skit here. Uh, it's, too damn funny. Shall we continue with another one? All right, let's check out the next one and see what the, the next uh, pitch meeting is for. Because I don't even know myself. Here we go. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be an adaptation of the classic fairy tale, The Snow Queen. Oh, and how are we adapting it? In the absolutely loosest way possible. Oh, loose things are tight. No, they're not. Right? Of course they're not. What the hell am I saying? Anyway, so we're gonna meet this young princess, Elsa, and she's gonna accidentally hurt her sister, Anna, with her ice powers. Oh, uh, whoops. Whoopsie. So then their parents bring them to see these magical little rock trolls. Oh, are they gonna be cute? No, but they will be annoying and give irresponsibly vague advice. That's just as good. Anyway, so the head troll is like, first of all, we need to erase Anna's memories of this happening. How come they need to do that? To protect her? How does that protect her? Unclear. Feels like it'd be a lot safer if she had a heads up about her sister's powers, you know? Maybe learned how to protect herself from them? Yeah, well, they're gonna go with the memory erase thing. Fair enough. And the head troll also says that if somebody gets hit in the heart with these ice powers, it's not so easy to fix. But he explains how to fix it in case that happens. He does not. I told you, these trolls are vague as hell. Right. And then the troll is gonna say that she needs to learn to control her powers and that fear is gonna be her enemy. Wow, so what do Elsa's parents do? They lock her up in her room and make her scared of her powers and of human contact. Oh, wow, they did not listen to that <laughs> advice. They did not, and so eventually they die in a shipwreck. Oh my god, where were they even sailing to? They were sailing up on out of this movie because I'm done with them. Well, okay then. So then Elsa and Anna spend three years inside the castle separated from each other and the outside world. Why can't Anna leave? Unclear. And who's running everything while they're locked up? I don't know. Fair enough. So then it's time for Elsa's coronation and a bunch of people are invited over and Anna instantly falls in love with this Prince Hans. Wow. But then Elsa accidentally reveals that she has ice powers and people freak out and call her a monster. Uh-oh. Yeah, and then she accidentally causes an eternal winter and runs away. Jeez, that coronation went horribly. <laughs> it did, and so then she's gonna sing this amazing song about, you know, moving on from her past or something. Oh, what's the song called? Oh, I don't know yet. Probably something like... Moving on up. Eh, not a fan of that. Maybe something like, uh, Breaking Free? Maybe, um, The Past is Gone? Uh, okay, let's just let it go for now and figure it out later. Whoa, wait, what was that? What? Repeat that last thing you just said. I said, uh, let it go. Right, 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 but the end part? I said, we'll figure it out later. Yeah, we'll figure it out later, because I can't think of anything good right now. Oh, the way you got excited there, I thought I sparked an idea. Oh, no, I just get really excited about procrastination. It is pretty great. So anyway, Elsa heads up into the mountains and builds a giant ice castle to live in. A castle that's fully made of ice? Yeah, 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 pretty sweet, right? But where's she gonna poop? Well, she doesn't have any food to eat, so maybe she won't poop at all. Yeah, I don't understand how she intends to stay alive there. Yeah, me neither. Let's not think about this at all, okay? Sounds like a plan to me. So then back home, Anna is like, I need to go find my sister. And so who does she bring with her? Nobody. She goes alone? Yeah, she feels responsible, so she goes alone with no equipment or supplies or even winter clothing. But what if something happens to her? Then there's no way this works out. Well, she feels like she she should go alone, so she 
he leaves Hans in charge. The guy who's visiting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels like whoever was running things before the coronation should be left in charge. Yeah, but I don't even know who that is, so this random prince that's visiting is gonna be left in charge. Well, okay then. So anyway, Anna is gonna meet this guy Kristoff and his reindeer Sven, and they're gonna team up. All right. And they're gonna meet this sentient snowman Olaf that Elsa created. Wait, hold on. She made a sentient snowman? Yeah, and his whole thing is that he likes warmth and so. But you're saying she created life out of thin air. I mean, yeah, but that's not the point. The point is that Olaf is this wacky guy. I feel like that should be the point. No, we're gonna focus on how funny this snowman is. I mean, her ice powers don't even compare to the power of creating life out of nothing. Oh, definitely don't put too much thought into this godlike ability she has. Why not? Because I didn't. All right, I'll try to act like that's not a game changer. Great, so Olaf is really silly and he has no idea that heat, the one thing he's obsessed with, is the one thing that would kill him. That's pretty dark, actually. No, we're gonna play it for a laugh. Oh, we are, okay then. Anyway, eventually Elsa's gonna accidentally shoot Anna in the heart with her ice stuff and get captured. Oh, none of that's good. It's not, so then Anna starts to turn to ice or something. Oh boy. Yeah, so Kristoff brings her to see the rock trolls because he witnessed all that stuff when they were kids. And this is the first time he's bringing that up? It is. Wow, very unnecessary <laughs> secrets. Yeah, so then the trolls sing a very forgettable song and then explain that Anna can be saved by true love. That would have been good to know this entire time. Maybe, and so then we're gonna find out that Hans was evil this whole time. How do we find that out? He literally just explains it all for no reason. Great, that's a very convenient way for us to find out. <laughs> Definitely, so Hans is gonna try to kill Elsa and Anna's gonna sacrifice herself to save her. Oh. Yeah, and it turns out that that was an act of true love, so she gets saved. Wow, and so what do they do with Hans? How do they punish him? They send him home. Oh, that'll show him. <laughs> yeah, I guess, so then Elsa gets to be queen. Wait, what about all the people in the kingdom who thought she was a monster because of the ice powers? What about them? Well, it's gonna be hard for them to get over that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, she just reverses the winter with love or something, and they're all like, oh, everything's great now. Oh, that was easy, so they're just not scared of her powers anymore? Nope, everything's fine, and so yeah, that's about it. Wow. So any ideas about who to cast as Anna and Elsa? We need people who could sing. Oh yeah, well I was thinking maybe Kristen Bell as Anna, and maybe Idina Menzel as Elsa. Idina Menzel? I'm not familiar with her. Oh, she's this amazing Broadway performer. She did Rent, and she did Wicked. Oh. Okay. Trust me, after this movie, everybody's gonna know her name. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Man, that was funny. God. I swear, some of these things that he, he, um, he comes up with, that he, he notices, that I just never noticed. I don't know if maybe you guys notice some of these things he's brought up, but once he says it in these skits, I realize, like, oh my God, that's true. <laughs> it's so very true. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys got a good laugh. Uh, there'll be more of his uh, videos coming down the line. Uh, till then, you guys take care of yourselves and the ones you love. Bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha.